as part of this topic let's set up dataset so that we can copy the dataset to hadoop and we should be able to use the dataset for learning purposes at a later point in time first let's make sure that our single node hadoop cluster is up and running we can run this command called as jps to confirm whether it is up and running as of now neither hdfs nor yarn are up and running to start them we can run this command called as start dfs dot sh it will take care of starting hdfs related components once hdfs is started we should be able to start uh, yarn related components by running start hyphen yarn dot sh let's wait until hdfs is started then we'll start yarn as well after uh, starting each of these services we should be able to validate by running jps to make sure that the relevant components are started without any issues we can say jps and we can see name node secondary name node and data node are started now i can say start hyphen yarn dot sh it will take care of starting yarn components such as resource manager and node manager we should be able to validate by running jps once uh, this command is run now when it comes to the dataset the dataset is available as part of my github account the github account is nothing but uh, this one i can actually say git clone then https colon slash slash github.com slash dgadraju slash retail underscore db dot git it will take care of cloning the github repository uh, which contain retail db dataset if you look at the retail db folder which is created because of the clone you can see there are a bunch of folders and then uh, a few sql scripts and uh, also readme file i just want to make sure that the folders which contain the data is copied to local file system first and then from uh, local file system into hdfs i just want to standardize so that uh, you can follow my material without making too many changes at a later point in time to take care of that i am first creating this folder called as uh, data and then retail db before creating this folder if you take this i just want to clean it up and hence i am running this command called as sudo rm hyphen rf and it will take care of uh, deleting the folder if you take this now i can say sudo mkdir hyphen p slash data slash retail db it will take care of creating the entire hierarchy if the hierarchy doesn't exist you can validate by running ls hyphen ltr slash data you can see there's a folder retail db now i can say sudo cp hyphen rf retail db uh, departments then data retail underscore db so i'm copying one folder at a time after departments i want to copy categories then products then orders then order items we have six subfolders i want to copy all the six subfolders here finally customers now we can say ls hyphen ltr slash data slash retail underscore db you can see all the six subfolders in this you can also say find data retail underscore db to review all the files in those subfolders now i want to copy these uh, uh, folders and uh, files into a standard location called as slash public slash retail underscore db the way you can uh, take care of it is first you have to create slash public slash retail db folder and then uh, we should be able to copy all these subfolders into it i can say hdfs dfs hyphen mkdir hyphen p slash public slash retail underscore db it will take care of creating uh, the entire folder hierarchy in hdfs now i can say D hdfs dfs hyphen ls slash public slash retail underscore db as of now we do not uh, have any files in that location now i can say hdfs dfs hyphen put slash data slash retail underscore db slash star to slash public slash retail underscore db all the subfolders under retail db will be copied to retail db in public this is a local file system on this machine this is hdfs on the single node hadoop cluster that is running on this machine now we can hit enter it will take care of copying all the files we should be able to validate by saying hdfs dfs hyphen ls public retail underscore db you can see the subfolders here you can also say hdfs dfs hyphen find public then retail underscore db it will list all the files and subfolders from this location recursively you can also use one of the file and cat from these files these are all text files and hence we should be able to get the output printed on the screen by using hdfs dfs hyphen cat and then pasting one of the file here i'll be using a file from departments because it is the smallest one we should be able to hit enter and we can see the data from this file printed on the screen or standard out 
this is how you should be able to take care of setting up the data set we have cloned the repository from git then we have copied to local folder called as slash data slash retail db then we have copied into hdfs and also we have validated that the files are available in hdfs